Hi everybody, this is Mirab, and today I'm going to talk to you about what's new on a Joomla ad agency version 2.0 on the front end. There's another video that explains what's new on the back end. So let's take a look. The first thing you see is that the control panel of the advertisers is much, much nicer. There's definitely nicer uh, icons and they're bigger and there's a few new options here like add a new ad, add a new campaign, etc. Also, if you click on any of those pages, you will see that there's on top an icon uh, for home. It will always take you back to the control panel. This is uh, important because sometimes uh, your advertisers will get to a page and will not know how to get back to the advertiser homepage and uh, sometimes you just have a lot of other things going on on the page and this way it's just much much easier. So this way they can always get back to the control panel. Another important change is that if you go to any page you will see that you have a cancel button so you can always go back to where you started. If you create a new campaign and you decide to change your mind it will take you back to where you were or it will take you back to the control panel depending on where you are. Here again, if you click on add a new banner, you can always go back to where you are. Another important change is that on the packages, now you can see that there's a lot more information about each package. You can see that you don't only have the zone, but you can see that you have how many slots, that means how many rows and columns of ads you have. Is it uh, set to rotate, yes or no? and what is the size that is uh, appropriate or uh, relevant to this particular package and also what kind of ad type is supported here and we also changed it from start a campaign to buy just to make it more simple to understand so this is it about the front end changes and now uh, if you want continue and view the video that explains about the back end changes that are very very comprehensive Thanks. See you later.